I think if you look at the evolution of Islamic banking, it started from a niche market. So if you look at 30 years ago, each country had a token presentation, mm. or token presence yeah. of Islamic banking. So each country had one leading Islamic bank that was effectively servicing the Muslim community yeah. primarily. Yeah. And it was very much a local or domestic market focus. Yeah. Yeah. So you had Dubai Islamic Bank in Dubai, Abu yes. Dhabi Islamic Bank in Abu Dhabi, Bank Islam in Malaysia, Bank Muhammad in Indonesia. Yeah. Yeah. And then you saw many other entrants coming to market. Yeah. Conventional banking, conventional banks offering Islamic windows, and many other Islamic banks and investment companies have come in. But the mode of activities was still predominantly like conventional. Mm, mm. So if you have a conventional auto finance, Islamic will have an Islamic auto finance. Yes. If you have a conventional corporate term finance, Islamic will have an Islamic term yeah. finance. Almost like mimicking. Mimicking. Mimicking the conventional <laughs> That's approach, right. right? But the mimicking stage has been there for almost 30 years now. Yes. So yeah. clients are questioning, what is the difference beyond the mirroring yeah. or mimicking? Yeah. Yes, I've got all the Islamic products now. What else can you do? Yes. How do you differentiate yourself from the conventional banking? Yeah. I think the next stage of evolution, so where, where do we see Islamic banking going, is towards what we call sustainable finance and responsible banking. Mm -hmm. So these are the two areas I think we would like to touch today. Where Islamic banks ought to go is, if you look at consumer banking, mm. Uh, we have mimicked all the conventional products. We have Islamic cards, Islamic personal finance, Islamic con uh, home finance, Islamic deposits, Islamic current account, savings account. But what we are not seeing is responsible banking. Mm. What we mean by responsible banking is, do we actually sell the right products to the, to the, to the right customer? Yeah. Is, it, is it a needs-based financing mm -hmm. versus a product push? Mm -hmm. Right. That's a question that we need to pose to ourselves. In the past, we have been very much focused on revenue. Mm. We must make this much of revenue, and this will come by selling X percentage in cards, X in mortgage, mm. X in other mm -hmm. products. Mm -hmm. So we need to have a holistic view of building the wealth of the customers. Yes. We need to look in, into where the customer is in his life cycle, yeah. what are his needs, yeah. and do we have a holistic proposition to cater for his needs.